Hi guys, I dug out one of my old rubber band powered car chassis um, to use as a test bed for a little idea I had for a clockwork operated car or at least it was a wind up um, spinning top and I've just done that video um, which I will upload at some time today while I've got the chassis out it's a good chance to try out a couple of other ideas I had. Um, you may notice this is 99p shop or 99p store. I bought... Actually I can't remember which one came from which. I think this one came from the 99p store. It's just a bug on a spring. And I think this one came from Poundland, which is another bug on a spring. And I wondered whether those springs would be strong enough to power the car. So it will be a straight comparison. They look about the same size to see whether 99p store can beat Poundland. It's not really a fair comparison but it'll be a bit of fun. So I'll just hook these onto the front there. Um, I'll probably wind some cotton around the back axle because you can't wind the spring around the axle. And we'll see how they do. Right, we'll try the uh, 99p store spring first. If we can get it off. should have brought a pair of pliers but oh, that's all right so that's one end should I leave that on no I'll take it off so that's our spring I've got a paper clip wrapped around at that end that I should be able to hook the spring onto And then I'll make a loop of cotton I should put my glasses on Okay, cut that off. Well, that looked like that was carrying on quite well. I might just give that a second chance and try and line it up better. Wind it up again. Right, let's see if I can line it up this time. 
expect I'll hit the doorway on the other side this time. Okay, away we go. That was close. All the way through to my front door, so that's about nine metres. And we've still got some springiness left. So, we'll go and try the other spring. This spring actually looks a little bit bigger. So. May not be a fair comparison. Try and line it up again. And away we go. Going off to the right a bit. Still made the full distance though. So, what can we say? 99p store, pound land, both worked. Summary time. So what was the purpose of this little exercise? Quite a while ago I was asked to do a spring powered car and I had quite a bit of trouble finding a suitable spring to do the job. I ended up making my own and it was much too powerful. So the other day I was in 99p store and I found this spring bug which had this spring on it which is a nice flexible soft spring. And then I went next door which happens to be Poundland and found this bouncing bug which had a similar spring on it. So I thought well I'll buy them both and I'll try them out and the answer is they both work fine for this sort of um, toy or project. I think that one actually worked slightly better. It, the car seemed to go slightly faster but I don't think there was enough in it to be able to compare it, certainly over the distance that I've run it, which is the length of my kitchen and the length of my hallway, which gives us about 9 metres altogether. Both springs comfortably drove this car 9 metres, with no trouble at all. So there's a source of springs for you if you have to do a spring-powered car. One final point, those of you who've watched some of my videos before, may have spotted that I've used this particular type of bug to get a propeller or a fan blade for some of my fan driven cars. It's just a convenient source of a handy fan. Just fit it on the front of your electric motor and away you go.